How you doing guys? This is Mark from Cars and Cameras and today we're going to do a quick video test of the Sony RX10 camera and also at the end of this video I have a little music video that I shot with it straight out of the camera. No color correction done, just a straight video just to see the capabilities of this camera. Okay, I've been waiting for this camera and I can't wait to take a look at it. It's got amazing video quality. It's got the same sensor as the Sony RX100, RX100 Mark II, except one big difference is this camera can shoot video using the full pixel readout from the sensor, which there is no line skipping and that's a big difference in video a big difference so let's see what this camera can do let's pull it out of the box let's take a look at it and over here we're gonna see some of the accessories that come with the camera there's your Sony RX10 uh, neck strap uh, I'm not a big fan of the neck strap so that will be staying in the box so there we go and then the next item that I will not be using is the Sony USB charger because I like to use a dedicated battery charger for the camera Another accessory I won't be using is this Sony uh, USB cable. I like to use uh, a um, uh, SD card or memory card reader. That's what I use. It's much faster. And then there's your W series battery, which surprisingly lasts a long time in this camera. Now this accessory does not come with the camera. This is an NEX series battery charger, which is also takes W series batteries. You can get them very inexpensive on eBay. And it's a great way to uh, get a couple of those, one or two of those to charge your batteries while you are using your camera and you can keep your camera tucked away and not worry about having your camera out while you're charging it. Um, and it's the way it used to be. Anyway, so here's the camera. Let's take a quick look at it. It's very, very nice build on the camera. Very nice high resolution screen. Um, both of the screens, uh, the, the uh, eye viewfinder is very, very nice. That's mostly what I was using. Um, very, very nice uh, camera. And over here you have your uh, uh, memory card slot. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, it's very, very nice fit and finish. Now we're going to pop the battery in. Everything is very high quality. It's a very nice camera for the money. A very, very nice camera. And uh, here I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And there's that lovely, lovely Zeiss 24 to 200 millimeter lens. And guys, I got to tell you, it's worth it to get the camera just for that lens. I'm telling you, it's a fantastic lens. And, and the price of the camera, it's worth it just for that lens. It really, really is. I mean, the quality of this camera is it's right up there with the GH3 and, you know, for basically quite a bit less because, you know, you got two lenses. Now, the other thing is you saw there it said click on and off. You can turn off the click on the on the aperture so you can make it completely smooth when you shoot video. Right there is your uh, your control for your automatic and movie modes and all that. Here you have your you know, displays and, and dedicated movie on off button. Of course, your exposure compensation dial there. And um, over here you got your pop-up flash. Um, I primarily, with this test, I just did video. I did do a few stills. It is a great stills camera. There is your, uh, it's, it's a single card slot. You can use either memory sticks or SD cards. Um, class 10 or higher I recommend and then here you can see another shot with me um, you know testing the zoom the zoom on the camera is a single speed so you're not gonna get variable speed like a video camera there's a shot with everything all in place a very nice looking camera now our next thing what you're gonna see is a shot of uh, a little music video I did with my buddy Marlon and here the camera was uh, locked down at a 50th of a second and autofocus mode and I warmed it up a little bit with the color temperature. Just want to see what it would do. It's very, very nice. And the next thing you're going to see is um, live audio that was recorded by the RX-10 that's coming up right now. And it was played back on Marlin's uh, stereo system out of his Prius C. So you can hear that the audio recording on the Sony RX-10 is very nice. And here, right now, you're going to hear it. To make it new, I'm not here. I'm not here to make you last I'm not here to really cry I'm not here for when you die I'm not God with the kiss of death I'm not God with the holy breath I'm not God So as you can see, the camera does a really good job with the video. 
Um, it's really nice. Um, you know, basically I had here, you know, I locked the exposure at one setting and as you go to, you know, shade from the, uh, uh, either, either, you know, as we get behind the light from the mountains there, um, just so we can see what it looks like, you know, I just really want to test it. The camera has really nice dynamic range. Um, you can see here the interior shots in the garage with the guitar. It looks really cool. It's a great camera. I highly recommend it. That lens is beautiful. If you've been on the fence about getting this camera, I would say do it. Um, it's, you know, it's definitely in my camera bag for certain situations. And I highly recommend the Sony DSC RX10. And there's another shot of it. And there's my quick review. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section below and I will get back to you. Thank you. I feel like I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have talked to my hairdresser before we started filming. I feel like my hair wasn't right. Perfect solution for bad hair. A good hat. Okay.